Welcome back. Today we are going to climb this mountain with different vehicles that I built. Let's get right into it. Okay, so you might wondering why do I look different? It's because of today's uh, theme, I guess. Um, so recently I've been watching the uh, Marvel movies uh, in chronological order. Um, so, we watched the first Avenger, obviously, that's the first one, um, but the Hydra stuff, um, just gave me a spark, like, remember something in my past, right? So, I remembered a thing that I used to have when I was younger. Um, this was a Lego set, um, that I recreated. There's supposed to be two people, but, you know, I only have one person. Yeah, so it, you know, works almost like the, uh, original. Also, if you played the Lego games, it's in there, too. I have. I've played, uh, I think all of them. At least, the uh, Marvel. Uh, ones but yeah so basically um, it works exactly like the uh, Lego set so the down here we have servos on uh, strength 2 I don't know why 2 but to make them a little bit stronger than just free floating because if they were free floating it had like weird where they would like drive and then be really weird about it. I don't know. So yeah, we're just gonna climb this mountain with this little you know, hydro tank. It works really nice. It only has two engines, but you know, it's it's, it's a tank. It's not supposed to go ridiculously fast, you know. But yeah, the uh, suspension is really. It works really great. Um, it can go up the stairs in the danger zone. Um, I forgot that I wanted to show that. But yeah, it can. It can go up the stairs in the danger zone. So, uh... Ooh! Get some air time. Oh yeah, they do, like, completely rotate because... How Trailmakers works. I don't know why. But... It uh, yeah, they do. So, yeah, it's just got missiles. It's got uh, the the nice 61 on the side. I'm pretty sure it was 61. I accidentally closed the uh, reference ev image before I put the decals on. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. Um, it's got the exhaust. Like, if you look up Lego Hydro Tank, um, you can see it matches beautifully like it's almost the exact same thing Ooh, can we get up this come on come on no no <laughs> wow this is really hard to get up if no oh wow barely any damage But, um, so, yeah, the first Avenger really sparked some, uh, I, I guess, they had, s Marvel's always got, like, super cool vehicles sometimes, and sometimes they don't, like, spaceships and stuff, like, they just got, like, super cool vehicles, like, the artists that create those vehicles, and then they use them like there's probably like hundreds of like not finished vehicle designs that they don't even use but like they have like you know obviously probably the best you know some of the best artists in the world working on that stuff so it's no wonder that it looks absolutely sick like amazing 
I don't know why it's lagging so much. Oh, look, we're back here. So, I'm going to try to go at a less steeper angle. Maybe more speed. Um, that's a cliff. Nope. I did not realize that was a cliff. Uh, yeah, we're just going to fall. Ah, that time we blew up. Wow, that's... That's just sad. Well, um... I can't get past that part with this vehicle, so... Oh. Right, this... This actually does not control the rest of the body, so... If you get in this one, it doesn't control the rest of it. So you gotta get in the front seat, obviously, to drive. But it does also control the gun. Because it would be really annoying if I can control the gun. But yeah. So, uh... Yeah. This is not all... Um, I recreated something from the movie. Like, straight out of the movie. Uh, you probably saw it when I opened my... This is the bomber plane. That, um... Is full of, like, a... I, th I think it's supposed to be, like, a nuclear bomb, but I don't remember. Obviously, there's no, uh... It doesn't fly very fast, but that's because... Propellers are mostly everything that's pulling it forward. I did put gyros in here because it was kind of annoying to fly otherwise. Like, really annoying. Because it shouldn't fly. That Yeah, it just shouldn't fly. Also, it would never be able to, like, take off from the ground. Unless, obviously, the way that I did it. Uh oh Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. I'm not ready. Okay. Yeah, the gyros are very strong. So I can just... Stand back up. But yeah. So let's, uh... Let's fly it around a little bit. Maybe, uh... Maybe... Blow it up. Give me a second. You know, unintentionally. Where's our target? Uh, let's go for... I don't know. That thing over there. That, that big tall thing. No, maybe not. Maybe one of those barrels down there. There we go. Right for the barrel. Okay, didn't work. Okay, just blow it up manually. Hehe. <laughs> Technically... Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm not going to do that very much. Oh, I killed the chicken. That's why I got tinned gold. It's kind of funny. Um, or maybe not funny. I don't know. Wait. That's a great way to get some money. Yeah. So it does have space thrusters inside because it wasn't powerful enough by itself oh okay that actually scared me uh, like I jumped a tiny bit my frames are really bad right now sorry about that oh wait what oh, I didn't know your character could push these around how did I not know that what <laughs> I did not know that um please comment down below what you want to see next this has been Groot Subscribe, please. Um, really helps out a ton. Um, more more than you probably know. It, it helps out way more than you know. So the 100th uh, subscriber will get a something. I will make sure that happens. I will make sure they get something. Yeah, that that's what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to have a giveaway for the 100th, 500th, and 1,000th. Okay? If I ever get to 1,000 or even 500, I will give away something. I don't even care. Uh, this has been Groot, and I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye. I mean, bye.